The Business Romantic, written by Tim Leberecht, is a thought-provoking and inspiring book that challenges the reader to rethink the traditional business practices and embrace a more human-centric approach. Leberecht argues that in today's fast-paced, technology-driven world, we have lost touch with our innate romanticism, which he defines as a longing for connection, passion, and meaning. He believes that by tapping into this romantic spirit, businesses can create more fulfilling experiences for both customers and employees alike. The book is divided into three parts, the Romantic Manifesto, the Romantic Practice, and the Romantic Movement. In each section, Leberecht presents compelling arguments, real-life examples, and practical strategies for infusing romance into various aspects of business, such as marketing, leadership, and organizational culture. In Part I, the Romantic Manifesto, Leberecht lays out the foundation for his argument by defining romanticism and explaining its relevance to business. He begins by distinguishing between two types of romantics, the romantic and the business romantic. The former is associated with the 19th century artistic movement, while the latter is a modern-day business person who embraces the values of romanticism. Leberecht contends that the business romantic is not a dreamer or a naive idealist, but rather a pragmatic and strategic thinker who recognizes the power of emotions and connections in driving success. He goes on to define six principles of the business romantic. 1. Slow down. The business romantic values quality over quantity and believes that slowing down can lead to more meaningful experiences. This principle encourages businesses to resist the pressure of constant growth and embrace a more sustainable pace. 2. Human scale. The business romantic emphasizes the importance of human connection in business. This principle urges companies to reject the impersonal nature of mass production and mass marketing, and instead focus on creating personalized, intimate experiences for their customers. 3. Craft. The business romantic values craftsmanship and attention to detail. This principle encourages businesses to approach their work with care and dedication, striving for excellence in every aspect of their operations. 4. Storytelling. The business romantic recognizes the power of storytelling in creating emotional connections with customers. This principle urges companies to tell compelling narratives about their products, services, and brand values. 5. Reverence. The business romantic shows respect for tradition and history. This principle encourages businesses to learn from the past, honor their heritage, and incorporate timeless values into their operations. 6. Refusal. The business romantic is willing to challenge the status quo and reject conventional wisdom. This principle encourages companies to think outside the box, embrace innovation, and question everything. In part two, the romantic practice, Leberecht provides practical advice for infusing romance into various aspects of business. He begins by discussing the importance of marketing, which he refers to as seduction. Leberecht argues that marketers should focus on creating experiences that engage all five senses and evoke emotions in their target audience. He offers several examples of companies that have successfully employed sensory marketing, such as Coca-Cola's Happiness Factory ad campaign and Lush Cosmetics in-store experience. Leberecht also discusses the role of leadership in fostering a romantic culture. He advocates for a more democratic and collaborative approach to leadership, where power is shared and decisions are made collectively. He provides examples of companies like Morningstar and W.L. Gore that have successfully implemented self-managing teams. In addition, Leberecht explores the importance of creating a romantic work environment. He encourages businesses to design spaces that inspire creativity and foster human connection, such as Google's Peterson Building and Pixar's Emeryville Studio. He also emphasizes the importance of work-life balance and offers strategies for promoting well-being in the workplace. Finally, in part third, the romantic movement, Leberecht discusses the potential for a broader societal shift towards romanticism in business. He argues that the current economic system which prioritizes profit maximization and shareholder value is unsustainable and leads to widespread dissatisfaction and disconnection. He proposes that embracing romanticism could help create a more equitable and fulfilling future for all stakeholders. Throughout the book, Leberecht provides numerous examples of companies and individuals who have successfully infused romance into their business practices. These include Zappos, Tom Shoes, Airbnb and Warby Parker, among others. 
Each of these case studies illustrates how embracing romanticism can lead to increased customer loyalty, employee engagement, and overall business success. In conclusion, The Business Romantic is a thought-provoking and inspiring book that challenges traditional business practices and encourages readers to embrace a more human-centric approach. By tapping into our innate romanticism, businesses can create more fulfilling experiences for both customers and employees alike, leading to greater success and sustainability in the long run. Leverett's practical advice and compelling examples make this book essential reading for anyone interested in reimagining the role of business in society.